Hmm. That person? Uh, it's one of their children. Don't know if it's alive or not. It's kind of creepy. Leafman. Leafman. Here. Get soap, bitch. Alright, I have done as you ask. Hydrated these leaf people. They're all very dear to us. They wandered into Omega Stray Mortals, but they grew attached and decided to take them. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? You and yours would have been our children too, but enchantment didn't catch as well as we'd hoped. It's never too late, of course. Oh, fuck off. Are you serious? These are people? We simply don't let them. Wow. Are oh, you guys are all the way over here? Oh, I'm supposed to bring them a plank of wood that has no wood grain. Ha ha ha. Wow. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, is that to retrieve a garland from a tree branch? The wind blew it there, the pixie claimed. Questionable premise aside, the dragoon's jump would have been useful for this task. Oh, you mean like how Estinian mastered the dragon's jump to get low-hanging crew fruit? <laughs> I wonder if they changed that. I, I think they did change it because initially he said low-hanging fruit and then they changed it to high-hanging fruit. And that didn't make sense to me before. I think it was supposed to be a joke. I'm gonna grow flowers, are you? Oh, excuse me. Uh, that would make this house look so much lovelier. There used to be a city of mortals here, a great big bustling place called Voivert or Boivert or some such. When the Sin Eaters came and everyone disappeared, oh well, fucked off. Well, since then, we pixies have been living here and we've given old houses our touch. Lovely, don't you think? Cool. So it wasn't enough that the Sin Eaters, like, obliterated everyone that you had to go and turn them into leaf people. Man, people do not like people. Or whatever, not people do not like people. Yes, Lala. Mmm, so hungry. Did you get the fruit? I got you fruit. The sweet and succulent fruit of the bill tree favored by pixies. Yeah, got you your fruit. Well, thank you ever so much. You saved me, hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, saved me from my boredom. You should have seen the look on your face when the bugs came down, hee <laughs> hee. Wow. Ah, uh, you've done me a great service, mortal. If there's one thing we pixies are serious about, it's having fun. Cool. Seriously having fun. Dull and painful things? Hate, hate, hate them. Sin eaters are so dull and painful both. So we hate them especially. We mortals try to fight those monstrosities, but there's no fun in that. Best to avoid them altogether, we say. Hmm, fair enough. But it seems to me like you've got enough magic in you to like, just make them disappear? Eradicate them? But I guess that's not their way, so it bounces out. Make it someone else's problem, not ours. You done some the seeds, thank you, this shall help Leo Ren live up to its name, which means Flower House, in case you weren't aware. We weren't always here, you know. We used to live deep in a lush forest. It was beautiful beyond compare, but almost all of it was swallowed up by the light. For a while we roamed, but eventually we found a place that men had abandoned together with our fellow fey folk. We decided to make it our new home. Okay. The land of everlasting spring. This is our home. And it could be yours too, forever and ever and ever. Uh, you know what? That actually sounds pretty good, but we'll pass. 
I mean, you can't stay in the same place all the time. No, that gets boring, and I know you guys don't like boring shit. Okay, then, Crud, you got something for me. Spit it. Unto the truth. Oh. Ben Crud looks just like you feel. Hmm. Um, how do I feel? I don't know. I, I kind of enjoyed the little, the brief romp. How goes it, Griffin? Yeah. It goes. So, a mix of manual tasks and pranks. Yes, that's pretty much sums up my own experience. They have no troubles worthy of the name. How long are we supposed to keep at this? They're clearly playing with us. Indeed. Whenever I inquire how much more there is to be done, the answer is ever the same. A little. I doubt they have any intention of releasing us in the near future. Ariage once told me a story about the pixies. They're born from the souls of those who died as children, or, or so it's believed. Huh. Though they don't have memories of their previous lives, they desire to have fun remains imprinted on their souls. And so they live only to play, keeping hapless mortals for their pleasure for years on end, sometimes even until death. Wow. In the past, when I sought to identify the true nature of ghosts, I came upon literature examining a similar subject. The soul was likened to a core that resides in the aether. And its presence is what differentiates us from such beings as sprites and arcane entities. Huh? Okay. Upon death, said core ordinarily dissipates alongside the aether that composed the flesh. However, it may be held together and bound to the corporeal ruin, either by will of its own or by means of certain arts. Hmm. Explains a bit. In time, the soul may regather either unto itself to assume another form or find new, newly emerged life in which to abide. The pixies may be one such instance of this. Hmm. The soul may regather either unto itself and assume another form. If ghosts are merely souls without bodies, what does that make us? I think you've become... I think you've become that which you fear most, brother dearest. However, the pixies may come to being. If we leave them to judge when we are, when they are satisfied, they will never be satisfied. Now, we must negotiate new terms with the creatures, but where to begin? It seems to me we would need at least one among them to sympathize with us. In the course of your chores, did any of you encounter a pixie who seemed even faintly amenable to reason? Uh. Well, Feel, she's kind of out there, but yeah, she did bond with me, though. Maybe she can, uh... What, you knew a pixie from before? Not only are you acquainted, but you've entered into a pact. You might have mentioned this sooner. Oh, excuse me! Everything just came crashing down all at once. At any rate, I dare hope this will offer us a way out. Without further delay, then summon this Feol, if you please. Feol. Alright, how do I do that? With the chat mode and say, use your keyboard and software keyboard to fail the designated location. Okay. So it's one of those things. Okay. I hope fail will be able to help us. A pack with a pixie. Why am I not surprised? Hey, look, it, it, was, it just kind of... It kind of happened. I didn't even give it two sh thoughts. We're ghosts too. I suppose that make, makes sense on a certain level. I think you're overthinking it too much, Alpha. No, we're ghosts too. Oh, actually, he's right. They are ghosts because their bodies are back in uh, the source. Hmm. Okay. All right. Where where is the point of contact? I need. Okay. Alright, so I need to say something, and it basically has to have fail old in it. Fail will come get this booty. Voice rings out near <laughs> So, my sapling has finally remembered about her lovely branch. 
Okay. But with such a half-hearted call, she may as well lop me off and cast me aside. Hmm, I have no sapling. Wow. What, what, what do I do? Please fail all. I need you to summon your fixie. Uh, fixie friend. Wow. Please fail all. I need you and that booty. Oh, it doesn't work. Uh, wait. I need you. <laughs> okay, let me do that. I need you. Okay. Hmm, wait, what's going on? What chat mode did say enter? Please fail. Oh, I didn't put. I didn't. I just missed a few apostrophes and no, commas, and it doesn't work. It has to be like exactly word for. Okay. Put that there and then go. Hmm. Is this your idea of a fervent car? A sudden lock could do more with fire. Wow, do you really want me to get on my leg on, on my knees? Well. <laughs> with chat mode and say, enter O loveliest of branches. Please grant me your succor. To summon holy shit. That's a <laughs> Okay, well. Oh love. The last of branches. Please grant me your your succor and booty. Okay. Oh man. Oh, loveliest of branches, man. It has to be so precise. Please grant me your succor. Is that? Is that a uh, exclamation mark? Okay. All right, there you go. Huh? The fuck? You're late, 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 late. I've been waiting for you to summon me ever since you came here. Waiting and waiting and waiting! Oopsies? But my sapling didn't so much as utter my name! Such a heartless thing she is! Cold and cruel and heartless! Oh, sorry? Another self-important little brat. Just what we need. Oh my god, that is so accurate! <laughs> A self-important little brat. <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. Uh, all right, I'm sorry. It was a joke. <laughs> Honestly, just a joke. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. <laughs> but just now you called for me so earnestly, so fervently. I couldn't possibly stay angry at you. Very well. As your lovely branch, I will lend you my strength. Well, well, well. If it hasn't failed, ooh, the mold of feel has been too, too long. Uh, I wonder if their language is based on the Scottish. Was it Scottish? I can't remember if it's Scottish. I can look real quick. Fair fey folk. Uh, no, Gaelic. Yeah, that, that, that's what it is. Gaelic. Not long enough for you to think of any new games, though, apparently. If I were you, I'd be bored of myself. Now let me make something clear. That mortal is mine. To what you do, she will never be yours. Never, never, ever! Oh, not even a bit. But what about the others? Surely we can keep them. Uh. No, no, no! You can't keep them either! They're for my amusement and mine alone! Holy shit. Uh. And if 
you lay so much as a finger on my sapling, I'll scatter the contents of her bag all over your precious village. Oh no, and you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want that either. There'll be cold, hard metal, furry, festering food, stinky, sweaty small clothes, and- Hey, 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 excuse you. And all manner of other terrible, unmentionable things. How would you like that, hmm? Oh man, that's a that's a threat if I ever heard one. All right, all right. But will you not at least let us play with the twins? Just while the others go and see Urionje? Uh oh. Aye, aye, that's all we ask. And we promise we'll play nicely. <sighs> it seems we won't be joining you. We'll reveal the hidden third neck to you at once. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, one thing. Fog and light so don't mix very true, well. Ilmeg. How are you feeling? Better. I think I remember the way now. Apologies for the delay. Shall we go and see Uriange? Your lovely branch is useful, yes? So whenever you're in trouble, you must remember to make use of me! Uh, okay, sorry, ma'am. Bye. Ah, uh, well, the sky still sucks, but at least it doesn't burn my eyes as much as it did before. Share my regards and tell them to live somewhere less annoying next time. Or not, we shall be fine. Go out and find Ariage. Alright, you two have fun now. You kids have fun. Yeah, well, Shenby has a way with other pixies. For Alphano and As Alice's sakes, let's let us be quick. It would be a shame to return to find a day been made to play one more one game too many. Or turn into leaf people. Now, the place we seek is the abandoned manor of a nobleman and scholar, the Bookman's Shelves, it's called, after the fellow's vast collection of tomes. An agreeable habitat for our friend, I'm sure you'll agree. Of course! Probably spent the entire how many years he's been here trying to read up the entire library. If we follow the path north, we should find- we should soon find a pace. Place, come along. It would be very nice, very good, if I hit a roadblock pretty soon. That way I'll know if I need to do a roulette or not. Oh man, this place is pretty! Blood Morpho. Holy shit, look, wow, I didn't notice. Damn. Man, look at me riding on my unicorn, too. I should get naked. Oh, wow, look at that. 
damn. Oh man, let me take a screenshot here, damn. Kind of like uh, how people complained about uh, not being able to see... Uh... What? Okay. Not being able to get into the Royal Menagerie, where it had all those flowers. Oh, I didn't have... Okay. Right, there you go. Wow, look at that, look at that. There's wings on the castle, too. Even the unicorn is sparkly. Oh. Alright, enough of that. It's been quite a while. I hope Ariage is well. Here we are at long last. I give you Ariage's humble abode. Come, let's see if he's home. Wow, this is a big ass flask. Uriange, are you in? Unto a world weary of heroes, a hero wends her way. The Exarch did send word that thou would seek me out, but ne'er did I imagine thou wouldst arrive so soon. Full glad am I to see thee once more, my friend, and none the worse for thy travails. Run along, Minfilia. We will meet you outside. Wow, just kicked it. Another one for you to imbue, if you'd be so kind. Man, she is the most unhappiest girl in the world. What the fuck is wrong with you? I take it thou hast met with our other comrades already? Hmm. That Master Alfino and Mistress Alize now travel in thy company is of great comfort to me. As for the rest, it beginneth in earnest. The hunting of the Light Wardens, and perforce the war with Yulmore. Yeah. Hark thee then to my words, and through them behold the vision that I did glimpse, that of the Eighth Umbral Calamity. As I drifted hither to the first, traversing the boundary twixt reality and potentiality, I did bear witness to events yet to come. There I saw the combined forces of Eorzea and the Far East offering fierce resistance to the legions of Garlemald. You guys are fierce resistance. Okay, that was kind of what we did before we left. So fierce, in fact, that they did begin to push the enemy back. Ilm by painful Ilm at first, then Yalm by Yalm, and Malm by Malm in time. Yet the joy they felt was short-lived, for in so doing they did force the Empire's hand. Faced with defeat, the Garleans turned to a weapon most vile. Black Rose. Ah, oh, shit. They did. Its potency defied all reckoning. 
Oh god, everyone is dead. Nah, Once that's... released, the gas took on a life of its own, wreaking untold carnage not only in Eorzea, but in the provinces of the Empire besides. Hmm. From fighters upon the front lines to babes in their beds, none were spared. And as the casualties became too numerous to count, so did the fabric of civilization begin to unravel. Nor did the land itself escape unscathed, for spreading from the site of its release, Black Rose brought death to the very soil. Whoa, what? how the hell did they make such a fucking potent gas that's gonna kill the earth even? To survive amidst the chaos and upheaval, men came to live by the sword, the rule of law giving way, inevitably, to the rule of might. Really? Thus huh. was the spark struck and the fire kindled, and swiftly did it spread as a blaze in a field of straw to engulf every corner of the world. Nations worthy of the name did then cease to exist, and those souls brave and true who might have risen to restore order Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not good. I may not have liked them both very much, but I don't like them dead. Oh, you mean us. We were the ones that would have restored order and we were pretty much gone. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Oh, is that supposed to be me? Oh. Oh, that is supposed to be me. That's that's bad. Were no more. For the weapon spared not one. Not even thee. Oh, so I died by the black roast? Oh, that's fucked up. An endless age of war begotten by the blight of Black Rose. Such is the legacy of the eighth umbral calamity which I did behold. No matter the cost, we must forestall this tragedy. To that end, I have labored during my sojourn in this world, discovering in so doing the answer to a pressing mystery. That of Black Rose's inexplicable potency. Yeah, why is it so... Why is it like... Why can it kill everything? What the hell? Come. 